A panel of city and county leaders want citizens to know exactly what they're voting for when it comes to ballot measure 1B. Thursday night, there were two sides taken. For example, El Paso County Commissioner Amy Lathan has been a big player in the proposal. It's dedicated funding so that we are truly dealing with operations and maintenance of our infrastructure that exists already. Um, and capital projects that need to be worked on and fixed right now. Colorado Springs Councilman Don Knight is one of two council members to shut the idea down. He says he just wants voters to be well informed. Once the emergency is over and the cleanup begins, it is not Colorado Springs responsibility to contribute financially to another city that has their own tax base, has their own tax income. The stormwater ballot measure, if approved, will mean a fee for homeowners, business owners, and nonprofit organizations. And it will be based on the amount of impervious surface. On average, PPRDA says the fee will be a little over $7 per household. We further looked at the per capita costs of stormwater uh, throughout the Front Range. Uh, we really are the only large populace that does not have a stormwater program at all. Although there are two sides, the panel and anyone campaigning for Measure 1B want voters to know it's a regional issue that needs to be solved sooner rather than later.